What up, everybody? Welcome to Honest Cigar Reviews. And today, I think, is my first ever bourbon review, I think. I've had a bourbon talk before, just talking about my favorites. But today, I'm just going to actually do a bourbon review and uh, an actual drink recipe. Um, I'm not a mixologist at all, so don't, you know, take what I say as, like, a professional or anything. This is just what I like to do. This is what I like. So, yeah, today we're reviewing Four Roses, as you probably saw from the title. And it's a pretty plain Jane bottle. Nothing too fancy. Um, you know, just a regular cap top. There's no cork or anything. The back just says that Paul Jones Jr., the founder of Four Roses, became smitten by a beautiful Southern belle. He sent a, pro a proposal to her, and she replied that if her answer were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her gown to an upcoming ball. Uh, when she showed up the night in the ball with her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four roses. So he later named his bourbon Four Roses as a symbol to his devout passion for the lovely Belle. So basically that's where he gets his name from. A lot of people said they actually taste roses in the bourbon itself, which I gotta say I've had a little bit, and I've had the small batch. Um, I'd say it's pretty much true a little bit, you know? There's definitely a, a floral kind of nose note to it. So let's get right into it. Um, I don't really know the exact way to do this. I just like to take a little bit. This is not a, uh, a tasting whiskey glass. This is more of a wine glass. So that's probably not professional, but what it does is it allows me to pour a nice dram and cover the glass and to see the uh, the oiliness of, of the actual bourbon. You can kind of see it sticking a little bit. And it helps me see the color a little bit. This is a very light color bourbon. Again, color I don't think really means anything about the flavor. It just kind of gives us more of a, a talking point, you know, kind of like when you see a cigar. You see a, uh, where's my cigar at? Well, this is a cigar I still need to roll, but um, it's kind of ugly because there's no wrapper on it. But the, the color doesn't really have anything to do with the flavor necessarily. It just kind of gives us a reference point of to, okay, I remember that cigar. Uh, you know, I remember that bourbon. This is kind of what it looked like, so I can kind of remember what it tastes like. So that's that. But what I do is I kind of just give it some aeration. You know, when you first smell it, you might get a lot of alcohol fumes, and that's not very pleasant. So you give it a few seconds, just kind of let it open up. It's really good. Uh, it's 40% alcohol by volume, so if you're American, we say 80 proof, which is the legal limit. So it's very, very light. Um, you know, I like a lot of bourbons that are kind of higher, like 90, 95, 100 proof. Um, so with those, it's kind of nice because you can kind of water it down as you like. But this, I'm not going to water down at all. It has kind of like a like a rye smell to it, like a little bit of a bite, like a citrusy kind of bite. And it has like a bit of mintiness too as well. Definitely corn, obviously. It almost has like a caramel toasted marshmallowy combo. Kind of like it reminds me of a campfire a little bit, but it's very, very subtle. It makes my mouth water like crazy, like I just want some. So yeah, let's just, I don't know, let's just get into it. That's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn smooth. Um, I like smooth refined spirits. I think everybody does. It definitely has a nice rye, the, the finish, the dry rye finish kind of makes you, the savoriness come out and kind of like the orange zesty, lemon zestiness kind of come out. Kind of has that caramely vanilla undertone to it. Just has a nice sweetness over the top of the whole thing. Pretty typical bourbon uh, flavor, I guess. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit more rye-y than the average bourbon, um, but you know I have I have lots of rye. You know, Old Granddad is a bourbon, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, but it has a mash bill. I think of like, I think it has rye, like 30% rye in it, and it's 100 proof. So this thing kind of really kicks. Even though this maybe had, even though the Four Roses has more rye in it, 5% more. Uh, because I think it has less alcohol, I don't think it bites as much. So it's kind of nice. And that mintiness kind of follows up. So I thought this would be a great uh, bourbon 
you know, to make a mint julep. So I crushed, I crushed some ice. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little bit, you know, they say like two ounces, just a hefty amount, you know, the ice will kind of water it down anyway. And it should be crushed ice for a mint julep. And then what I do is I made some simple syrup. Now this is really strong simple syrup. I put quite a few mint leaves in this batch, so it's really dark. And uh, so what it is, simple syrup is just, it's simply water and, uh, you know, dissolved sugar. So it's one part water, one part sugar. So I think this was like two cups and a cup and a half or two cups of sugar. So it's really sweet. So we don't need to add sugar to our bourbon, add mints and muddle the mints. We can just, I just like to add this simple syrup to it. It's very similar to like a mojito, if you guys make mojitos. So what I'm going to do is just, whoa, that was a lot. That was probably too much. That's okay though. We just add more bourbon. So basically the idea is that the minty sugariness and the bourbon kind of blend and it makes us a nice summer drink. Um, and then what we do is we get our mint leaves. These are getting kind of old. So I'm going to take some pretty ones like this. Kind of just squeeze it over top of my drink. And what it does is it makes a nice garnish. So when you when you drink it, you know you can smell it. That's a mint julep right there. Needs a little more ice. It's been melting as I've been talking. But um, tell you what, this Four Roses is an excellent mint julep bourbon. Eighteen dollars a bottle, so that's super cheap, and uh, it's super smooth and. You know, I can see me at the Kentucky Derby with this. You know, yelling at Sea Biscuit or something. Not offensive at all. You know, I did put a lot of sugar in there, but you you can always tone it down. You 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 know, you're gonna experiment with your mint julep. But that's it, guys. Definitely check out some other reviews. I'm gonna be reviewing this rye right here. This is Brewers Whiskey. Brewers Whiskey. It's a rye malt whiskey from Holland Brewery. Actually, I guess it's Holland Distillery now. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this review. Definitely can't recommend Four Roses enough. I'd say it's probably like a, like a B plus, you know, for the price. It definitely knocks up this bourbon a lot. If you're into the Jim Beam, give this one a try. You know, it has that marshmallowy flavor. It has that citrusy kind of, uh, um, you know, coriander kind of a thing from the rye. It has a lot of the, the nice sweet, you know, corn flavor, obviously oak flavor. Um, it's not as much of a sour mash like, like a Jim Beam, but it's awesome for 18 bucks. So can't recommend it enough. Go buy some for 17, 18 bucks and have a mint julep for summer. See you guys later.